Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We'll take a look at the awareness or the big ideas for the week, uh, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the awareness for the week is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a gift or blessing from the universe to you, telling you to take hold of this wand, of this club, and to go forth and to make things happen. Go out there and create. And, you know, wands, we have this wonderful fire energy. And this is about taking your personal desires, your passions, the things that make you feel good and make you feel alive, and bringing them into your experience and uh, really taking your power, your own personal power, and running with it. So this is a very clear message, which is, you know, make things happen. Have an adventure. Learn a new sport. Take up learning a language, or whatever it may be that's exciting for you, that makes you, feel, uh, makes you feel fulfilled. That's what you need to incorporate and to bring into your life, or at least to get started to doing so for the week. Another big idea or you know, general sense of awareness for the week is the Six of Cups. So at the very heart of the Six of Cups, is the sense of gentleness and kindness of treating everyone within your life with this sense of um, a soft touch, you know, being uh, reciprocating, being a thoughtful listener, um, being a, a shoulder for support, you know, a, a supportive person to your friends, to your loved ones, to your partner, to your children. You see the child here offering the younger child the cup with the flower in it and it's such a simple kind and loving gesture there's not a lot of agenda behind it it's simply for the fact of being really kind-hearted and good so another piece of this six of cups is the sense that uh, the part of nostalgia that is coming through for the week and so you know you may be having moments where you're thinking about the past where you're reflecting on, uh, you know, maybe old friends, old relationships, exes, a place that you used to live, and either you're having that fond memory and it brings you comfort, or you're maybe seeking for seeking something and, and looking for that memory to give you a sense of, you know, remembering what it was like to feel happy. And this person or this situation made me feel happy whether it's relating to relationships or job or location. You know, when we see the Six of Cups, we're thinking of taking a trip down memory lane. You know, the only thing that I would say is don't live in the past. Acknowledge the past. Look, on a literal level, you could be reconnecting some, with someone. You could maybe be having lunch or going for coffee or catching up by email. Always... Uh, you know, the lines of communication are always open. And so in its proper context, it's a good thing. But if you're continually living in the past and looking for life that used to be, you know, that may not be in your best interest. Let's see what the guidance is for the week. Okay, so the guidance for the week is celebrations and getting together with your friends. So perhaps someone from your past that you're connecting with them for drinks, for dinner, for a movie, for coffee, whatever it may be. But this is about really having fun with people that understand you. This is your community. Uh, this is a chance to catch up, to communicate, to listen, to laugh, to maybe decompress after a tough week. So with the Three of Cups, you get a sense here of the fruit and vegetables here on the 
on the ground and, and there is an element of being appreciative and celebrating what you have that's good in your life. And you know, when we are happy with what we have, we often like to share that with others. So, you know, have fun this week if you're going out. Don't overdo it, but enjoy, be festive. And, you know, take in the support from others, you know, that positive feeling. So, and also in terms of guidance, here's the King of Pentacles. And with the King of Pentacles, we get a sense of um, Earth and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this king is a master of wealth, of building wealth, of being successful in whatever he touches. And he enjoys his wealth. He finds comfort in uh, the material and uh, probably finds comfort in being successful as well. He's generous, kind, caring, but definitely bent towards financial security, financial growth, financial abundance, being very attentive to your investments and to your resources. So what would this tell us for the week? This would say, keep an eye on, you know, your accounts, keep an, an eye on your investments and how they're doing. Maybe it's time to make another move or so. Um, enjoy what you have. If you're working so hard because really the pentacles with this grounded energy, hard work, attention to detail, very committed to the outcome, that all work and no play is no fun. So make sure that you are able to enjoy what you're working so hard to build. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups are sincere, youthful page. Could be a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, could be a child in your family, it could be someone that you know, someone that you work with, who is sincerely and very genuinely looking for the emotional connection, looking for the opportunity to express feelings, perhaps to feel the spark, to fall in love, to gain experience. So if you are single, you know, this could be someone that you have met and seems interested in you. It could be an offering. This also can go to the excitement and the emotional connection to the things that we do, the creative projects that, you know, the wand and the ace of wands would bring out in us is feeling that enjoyment in the satisfaction and the excitement about taking something on that really, that we really wanted to do. But more often than not, the Page of Cups, it's about expressing love, being kind, being sensitive and being considerate to those around you. And perhaps either these are qualities that you are needing as well. So with the Page of Cups here, we have the five of swords and, you know, he's kind of looking over in the direction of the, of the page of cups. This is always a really interesting card. And you see the guy here holding the swords. This person seems to be walking away. This person looks like their head is in their hand. There's a little more sense of shame or humiliation. So this smug winner here, you know, we have situations in our weeks and in our days and our months where we get into it with someone and it's whether it's a conflict, a discussion, and that somebody feels compelled that they're going to win at all costs. Others say, you want this battle? You got it. Not worth it to me. I'm going to walk away. Others may have put in a, you know, a fair fight and still came away where you were made to feel belittled or something, you know, it, again, there's a lot of perspective in this card. And there's this, um, the idea of the winner takes it all. It's much more complicated sometimes than that because it's how these dynamics work where some people that we encounter will want to make a 
statement when they win. They want to make a point. And that type of energy, that's a pretty lousy energy. So you really have to think about your energy in terms of the dynamic with people within, you know, your life. If you're in the middle of a battle, of a discussion, you know, how important is it for you to come out on top? Or is this something that it's not worth breaking up a friendship or a relationship and you're going to walk away? So interesting um, set of cards. We don't see any major arcana, but we do see an ace. And so that's a pretty powerful card as well. Let's get a sense of the focus area or meditation point for the week. Transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. Transformation, restructuring, a new approach, new thinking. We can apply this thought in many different ways. And, you know, transformation, having this powerful wand in your hands and having the mindset that you're going to create and manifest your path is transforming positive transformation. So uh, again, that's key for the week. So now let's see what we have for spirit or emotional self. Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now's the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. So perhaps spirit is telling you this week, in this type of scenario, it's important for you to stand your ground, to be the one left standing, to be the one holding the swords, defending your beliefs. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what we have for love. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Beautiful idea, beautiful sentiment. Again, in a perfect alignment with the Six of Cups. The idea of acting with kindness and showing kindness, it's free. You know, it's something that we can do with our, if we set our, if, you know, if we just decide today I'm gonna to be more kind, I'm going to share that kindness with others. It's a powerful instrument. Kindness is a powerful instrument. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something here that resonated with you. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.